So, for nearly half a decade, I've been asked repeatedly to release a printed version of the uh, Book of Elven Fairy. It's uh, something that's been passed around the New Age and Electronic Underground for uh, probably just as long as people have been requesting it. The project was originally commissioned uh, around the time that Merlin's Magic actually was released. It was 2005, and then I actually rewrote the whole thing uh, into its more commonly depicted beta version uh, of around probably a year later, 2006. And this began a cycle of continuous revisions uh, that never quite satisfied me enough to really push it onto the publishers that I was querying at the time. Um, I had kind of, for a while, kind of gotten out of self-publishing, so the the work's kind of an, an enigma in, in the literary sense because it's, uh, it, it seems to be like a book of ever-changing light that can never be made static enough to uh, be brought to the mundane world of books uh, that most, most folks are accustomed to, these static, concrete books of words. So, the very concepts themselves are, are enigmatic, and they require this entire reevaluation of, of popular semantics and terminology that's been so conveniently impressed upon the social masses and what we are conditioned to believe. And it was only after I set aside the idea of working with uh, the specific lore uh, during the period that I worked on Arcanum and uh, was outlining uh, the ministries, uh, that it kind of came into being. People are actually interested in it. So, it's it's actually been kind of a curse because one of the one of the most fundamental issues when releasing uh, the various Mardukite reports, which is essentially all of the published uh, Joshua Free works since Merlin's Magic, uh, is that the the intensive research has actually uh, been conducted conducted on a continuous level, and that it 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 never ceases. So. Um, you know, new di new directions in our research might be explored just as a result of the most innocently small comment or question raised on our network or in a letter from a fan. These things require our printed and published word to be in, in constant need of revision, uh, especially at this time when uh, the groundwork is being founded. Uh, it's an exceptionally time-consuming task for uh, myself, even uh, in the midst of the supplemental work that's performed by the Council of Nabu Tutu. So, <sighs> to get back to the original story, any, any attempts at examining the fundamental emphasis, which actually served as the basis for the ministries in 2008, would just, it ended up having to be put on hold until its proper time, or else it would just be completely misunderstood and washed away in a sea of trivial New Age puffery in terms of, you know, the idea of fairies and elves. So the druids of the Necronomicon, the grimoire of the elves, finally came into existence uh, basically as a result of needing to bring the work forward from uh, ancient Mesopotamia into modern times. So lots happened in the two years that the ministry is i uh, been public and been working with people actively in uh, both mystical and academic research.